everyone welcome back to my channel so today we're going to be making this poncho and it is very easy to make and we're just going to use some more stitch so let's begin but before we start thank you for the support and if you're new here don't forget to subscribe and turn on post notifications so you know when i post a new video today i'm going to use this uh barky yarn it's unspun by L. It's hundred percent acrylic. I'm going to use a eight millimeter hook for the body and six millimeter hook for the uh, collar, and a pair of scissors and a darning needle. Um, the stitch I'm going to use is the moss stitch, and I'll show you how to do the moss stitch if you don't know the moss stitch. The actual quantities of the yarn I'm going to put them in the description box below but i also have a written pattern available which i will you if you go into the description box you will find a link there so i'm making a medium and i'm using this color i'm going to use all the three colors i'll start with this espresso and i'm going to make a chain of 148 for a small medium uh, for the other sizes, you should be able to see on the screen the number of chains you need to make. If you're looking for the written pattern, as I said, it's in the description box below. So I'm just going to get off camera and make my chain. And I'll come back and we can start with the most stitch. So I'm done with my chain. So let me just exp explain the basic construction of this poncho. It's going to be one rectangle only and then we're just going to sew it on the side and then add the collar so I've done 148 stitches and then in we're going to start with the most stitch for stitch on the hook we use single crochet and then chain one skip the next stitch single crochet in the next stitch chain one skip the next stitch single crochet in the next stitch chain one skip single crochet chain one and we're going to continue until the end of the row and i'm going to see you at the end of the row I've now finished my row and this is the most stitch looks fancy but it's not complicated chain two one two turn and then we're going to single crochet where we made the chains and then skip the single crochets so single crochet chain one skip single crochet and we're going to continue until the end of the row you're going to continue working uh, this second row until you have and you should see the other sizes um, just now you can be changing colors as you go along and i'm just going to show you just now how to change colors as you go along In the written pattern, I'll give you the exact sequence which I followed for my poncho, but uh, of to change the colors, I'm going to give it to you. So to change colors, we're changing colors at the end of the row. So you work your very last stitch, and then you pick up your and don't finish the stitch. Sorry, and then you pick up your 
the color you want to change make a slip knot and pull through then you're going to chain two as per usual turn and then you're going to work um, the same most stitch in a similar way the only thing you're going to do is you're going to hide the yarn under the stitches um, so that you don't have many ends to even so you single crochet in the chain while carrying your yarn under chain one and then single crochet in the next chain chain one single crochet in the next chain chain one and then single crochet in the next chain and just continue until you feel satisfied the yarn has been covered um, it could be uh, 10 to 12 stitches that's what i normally do then i don't really have to even i can just cut it so you just continue until the end of the row this is how it's going to look at the back and i'm going to show you how to cover that up just now So we're now back where we carried the yarn as you can see it's not looking neat but what i do is when i'm working in those stitches where i carried the yarn i work under the stitches i carried under so like this then they get pulled up to the top and then they get hidden so you can't see them and it makes your work look neat and you don't have to um weave in the ends so just continue like that working under the yarn you pulled through to cover it up then it looks neat see the difference this is the part where i work the yarn under and this is the part where i haven't worked the yarn under it's gonna make your work look neat and you will not have to spend a lot of time weaving in the ends so i'm going to go off and finish my piece i'm gonna come back and we're going to make the collar done with my length with my height sorry i'm making a small medium so what you're going to do is we want to leave the neck opening for for the smaller sizes it will be about nine inches for the larger sizes it will be ten and a half inches so you just count the number of stitch so you fold it in half as you can see I folded it in half and then I folded it in half and I'm going to count 51 stitches from the one side of the corner and put a stitch marker and then count on the other side 51 as well and put a st stitch marker you need to make sure that the number of stitches are exactly the same so that your um, poncho is not crooked so I already did that off camera and this is where I am and this will be my neck opening so from here what I'm going to do is we're going to join up to where the stitch marker is and then work the neck so to join so you insert your hook on the one side and through the last stitch and pull through and then we're just going to slip stitch through both sides and pull through slip stitch through both sides and pull through just follow remember we have an equal number of stitches on both sides so just follow that pattern until you get to where you have the stitch marker so i'm gonna pause now and i'll come back when i've reached where i have the stitch marker so 
so I'm now here where I have my stitch marker so I'm going to join where I have my stitch marker by slip slipping through okay okay you can remove the stitch marker you can keep it there whichever way is fine then you're going to um, slip stitch into the first stitch we're gonna have like a uh, a little bit of an opening then you're going to single crochet in the chains as we were doing until we get to the end of the round we're not going to close the neck it's going to be like open on the side so i'm just going to single crochet all around and let me explain why i used a six millimeter for this is because i want the neck to be a little bit stiffer so by using a smaller hook it's going to be much stiffer than the rest of the work so it won't have as much drip as um, the body of the work because we want the collar to um, stand firm okay to stay firm And then in the very last stitch you're going to single crochet and then chain two turn and then we're going to work back the same way single crochet in the chains the way we're normally doing for the body And then in the very last stitch as we would normally do we single crochet in the last stitch chain two turn and you're going to continue until you have six rows the other sizes should pop up on the screen and once you're done with those rows you're done If you enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe and turn on post notifications until next time thank you for watching